He planned to burn Islam's holiest text, then cancel. Now that Florida pastor says he's undecided, as a Kansas church promises to carry on the protest if needed. And for local Muslims, preparing for the end of their religion's biggest celebration, it's a sad, aggravating episode. Larry Seward is here with details. Krista, it's Ramadan, so local members of the Islamic Circle of North America spend much time in prayer, but they are also spending time trying to educate people about the Quran, hoping to discourage hatred toward their religion. Behind the Muslim call to prayer, tonight there's a call for sensitivity and respect for their religion. As a reaction to this, we are trying to distribute as many Qurans as possible because people are burning Qurans without knowing what is in the Quran, so we are asking people to call our hotline. For days, a Florida pastor named Terry Jones and his 50-member church in Florida planned to burn copies of the Quran on September 11th, Saturday, despite pleas from President Obama and the top U.S. commander in Afghanistan who feared such action would endanger troops. Jones continued until today. Jones claimed to cut a deal with an Amman from New York trying to build a mosque near Ground Zero. The Amman has agreed to move the mosque. We have agreed to cancel our event on Saturday. But that Amman denies such a deal. Now Jones says he's rethinking his decision. If he does, members of Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, never shy about hating or protesting, promised in a statement to burn both the Quran and the American flag on Saturday. Tomorrow, I'd say all uh, Muslims around the world and in the U.S., we can go into our prayers. Muslims like Riaz Larif preparing to celebrate the end of Ramadan are also bracing for an act they'd rather not see or hear. Now, earlier in the day, the U.S. State Department issued travel warnings for U.S. citizens because of the protest plan in Florida. Despite Jones's possible change of heart, that warning remains in effect. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.